This player lost his $1,000 account as he once, twice, three times a permanent ban. Well, not three times a permanent ban, but after three times, he's banned from the game, which is Kind of sad, but kind of not sad, because you kind of reap what you sow. What's going on with AI? A lot of complaints in recent days about its behavior. The Titan pool is going to be revealed on Friday, and much, much more. Yes, hello everybody, welcome to Marvel Swipe and Tap News. Maybe you use thumb, maybe you use finger to swipe on screen, maybe you use elbow. I don't know, but this is a new show associated with the Marvel mobile game, Marvel Contest of Champ. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to stop that now. Um, I'm getting ready to go to Amsterdam which I plan not to do any of those kind of accents because it's just going to be uncomfortable and weird and Em's going to probably hit me because she's like Every time you go away you do stupid accents, just stop it! In any case, hit the button of likes and subscribe with post notifications on all. Subscribing to a channel is free. Let's go! Now we kick off the show with a reminder that we're going to have a fifth week of activity with the side quest. Solo objectives interactivity and stuff. That's going to require clues. Tune back in later on to the channel. We'll be doing some kind of like clue finding thing. Whatever we do. I'm, I'm, what am I going to be like? Bloody Poirot going like, eh, this is where we've got to go. And we've got to find the thing. This is here where we go. Eh, I found that this is the person that did the thing. You know, it's not going to be like that. I'm not going to Agatha Christie this rubbish. Agatha Christie Poirot? Eh. It is what it is. So tune back in later on and uh, we'll we'll go over it. We'll have hopefully the breakdowns of where to find the thing to do the blah to do do blah 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 blah. Now on to enemy AI. AI is such a very difficult thing to talk about, especially because there's some people that would look at any kind of discussion with a tinfoil hat. Kabam are in a very kind of weird position when looking at this because they're very much of the mindset of going, hey, well, this needs to be reported in a certain way. And most of the time they don't agree. And once they've kind of gone through the engineering checks that the there is an AI problem and it's always bizarre to them. So it's when a uh, irremovable object meets um, an unstoppable force. An unstoppable force means an irremovable object. I didn't say that in the right way, but you know what I mean as to getting any kind of results from getting, you know, this looked at. You might see like a few posts where you see the word AI, AI speed is nuking MCOC and, and so many more. And as I said, Kabam's way of kind of looking at this is a kind of a zero, it's turned into a zero tolerance response on the matter of it to a point where I think as players, we just have to accept that the AI is, well, going to be erratic, going to be passive, going to be incredibly RNG based. And when we get into certain types of uh, end game content is just annoying as anything. I mean, this was like the defiant kind of, um, you know, th thing on the matter Like command Mike recently said uh, to keep this really simple at this point it's because there's no single issue here. We've addressed this and I'll look at this, what they're talking about in a second. When you come across any of these problems, you need, we need to report them as individual bugs, not as the umbrella term as AI issues because, and I will say this until the end of time, these are not AI specific issues. These are timing related issues that are shared with what players put under the umbrella of input issues. Each interaction needs to be investigated separately. The biggest problem is, is just like evidence being provided to Kabam and Kabam not acting on said evidence. I mean, here's a good example on screen. There we go. First Dex, go for another swipe. You can see there, like it's just a case of it just locks in place. Like it's kind of weird. Like either the AI was moving faster than whatever in that particular moment, but it's just kind of weird. Like the inputs just completely go from that particular champion. Again, we'll look at this again in slow motion. So first swipe there, and well, it's like it's like nothing after that dexterity. It's like the champion, if like Dex kind of like there we go, swipe there, and then uh, there's the swipe there. It's, it's still a case that the animation had not fully finished. Yes, you would say that, okay, well, there's a little, there's a slight kind of delay in the person putting in the swipe, but it's just a case of in that moment, you might be swiping on the screen and nothing happens. Because I think I can't say, I, I'm not looking at the person's device. Because there's times where I've swiped and it's like, I literally have to need to be recording myself. Like I need to have a camera here to just showcase that I did that swipe and nothing happens. And this is the thing that I've said before. The problem with this is like, I don't want to feel that there was a film by a comedian in the UK called uh, Lee, Lee Evans, who did a film called Freeze Frame. And Freeze Frame basically was in order for him to, I think it was to find that he was not guilty of a crime. He basically before then was recording himself entire life, every single thing that he did so that he could prove 
that he was innocent. And it's like, this just feels like I'm having to record my entire life. And that's not f fun about gaming. Gaming is not having to record yourself constantly. And that's obviously doing YouTube uh, or any kind of like content creation type thing. But you just don't want to feel like your fun is detracted from the fact that you have to be recording yourself all the time because performance issues and animation issues of champions can occur. Now, as I said earlier, it's that unstoppable force meets a removable object. The fact that command will kind of look at stuff in a way that's kind of like, okay, well, that doesn't, that looks like player issue. But at the same time, we can see in the past, and we've put it on this channel before, you know, we've had super duper boos, kind of like, like you can see on the screen, the swipe on with, the, with his ghost and it's just the case the champion does nothing and just stands there doing nothing. And it's quite obvious that's an input issue. It wouldn't be an animation issue because the champion didn't move. It just stood there static. But in any case, those are things that happen from time to time. And those are things that Caban may look at and go, well, I can't repro that issue. That's right, because you're not experiencing that issue at that time with that device in that particular area of the world. And still they may say, well, you know, no, because this. And that's, again, that's the problem. It's just a case of having these things looked into to make sure the game is running smoothly. You know, as we learned earlier in the show, compatibility is so damn important for this game to be uh, and to feel you know enjoyable fun rather than having to record yourself every time that there's something of a small issue in any case maybe it might be worth Kabam looking into all champion animations just to make sure that and also maybe the enemy ai to have a look at patterns of behavior to say like okay well it's performing faster all of a sudden or maybe the animation of that absorbing man's uh like dashing um, animation should be slowed down slightly. You know, these little things that could just make the world of difference to the player base, just so making a small change. Because otherwise in the meantime, you're gonna see like threads like this pop up, like May 30th, AI's speed, uh, speed is, needs to be nuked. We've got uh, as well, this one, May 30th, Dear Kabam, how long is it reasonable amount for the time for the AI to hold specials? Again, 30th of May. Seems to be like a lot of stuff in 30th of May. Kabam, AI wonky recovery, fix where or when. I, I could go on. Should AI be able to stand up intercepts? There, there was so many for some reason yesterday about this particular issue. And all things I think need to be taken con into consideration just for player's enjoyment and players faith that these things are being looked into. In any case, what are your thoughts on AI? Has something happened in the last 24 to 48 hours that have made you think like, something changed this, something different? It was just kind of odd to see a lot of threads kind of like pop up all of a sudden about this particular subject, but it was very interesting nonetheless. But in any case, on to good news and some positive things that are happening is we're going to have the announcement of the new event stuff coming to our game next week. So, uh, so yes, look out for that. There's a live stream where we'll find out more about the Titan Pool. There's also going to be a giveaway. So there's going to be a one of five Abyss Nexus Crystal Selectors. Uh, what, that, that, that's, that's interesting. Look out for that. Stream Friday. Be there or be squared. Now, before we go into arena predictions, I just want to end on this particular one right here. Uh, and this is a player saying, I have modded in the past, but I stopped modding after my second ban and I got banned permanently. So this particular player says, I have modded twice, where then stopped for good. And when I logged in today, I have been permanently banned. I have spent over $1,000 on this account. I would like to speak uh, with the moderator, please. Do bear in mind anything like this, you know, it's got to be done through support tickets because Kabam won't, you know, answer in the forums. But I would stress with a lot of stuff is don't mod. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Here's a scenario where doing it is it's just a perfect example of it will sting you. And if you if you're saying to yourself, oh, you know, the game's in a scuffy state, I'm gonna quit the game. Well, you know, that's <laughs> that's fine. But it's like, look, if you spent money on this game and uh, and as well like decide to mod, then I'm I'm really sorry, but you you fall on your own sword on on all this. Uh, this, is funny. this is absurd. I'd like to appeal it, please. I've spent way too much money in this account. I modded twice, not three times, but I'm permanently banned. Why do it? Why, the thing is, why do it once? Why do it twice even? Because it's just, it's just not worth it. And it's, it's like the justification. I literally only modded story mode and I modded twice. I shouldn't be permanently banned. And yet people mod battlegrounds and reason and don't get banned once. Uh, I mod story mode and get permanently banned. I should get, uh, I should 
I should have an appeal if I'm falsely permanently banned. It's not fair to me that other modders who ruin the game get no punishment. Well, you're part of ruining the game in any case. Like, not good, not good at all. But ultimately, before we go, you know, kind of like deep on stuff, and look, at the end of the day, when it comes up first that you're banned because you cheated or modded, then take that as your warning to reform. And here's the thing, it's quite like weird because Caban Mike recently said, oh, we find that when we do the first ban or whatever, that people reform. This person wasn't one of those people that reformed. So I don't know where those stats are coming in, but I would say this is the reason that these kind of more stricter bans and also by me making this video, by other people talking about it as well, people stop cheating in game because they will lose more than they gain. Uh, and also Kabam have to remove rewards from these people's accounts in any case and find a better way to do a active live cheat, um, cheat banning system so that people that are punished that faced off against them in battlegrounds are dealt with, which is something, you know, I hate repeating myself on, but it's something I always talk about. In any case, on this subject, Kabam Jack says, unfortunately, we can't discuss a just ban status on the forum. If you believe a mistake has been made on, in the banning of your account, you can reach out to the support team. We take cheating seriously and we're only improving the, the cheat detection software so everyone don't cheat. Yes. Uh, so that's the thing. If you think that you are, you know, um, you shouldn't be punished to the extent of maybe you are, then raise a support ticket if you get banned for cheating. But I would say when you get that first prompt, that you've cheated, don't do it again because you'll lose more than you'll gain. Now onto Arena Predictions, which is going to be fun. We're going to see in the featured a Storm, Atman, Juggernaut or Deadpool X-Force as choice champions. That's really, really fun. And also Emma Frost will be in the basic. Let's do some Arena Predictions for them. Okay, predictions wise, a bit of a tough one. I'm going to go with similar to the Nebula Arena recently under the new kind of changes to uh, Arena kind of results and cutoffs. And I'm going to stick my neck out on the line and say we're going to have 70 mil for that selector. Ideally, it should be lower. It should be 50 to 60, to be brutally honest. But maybe people have interest with Storm, and I do rate Juggernaut as a champion. And the other champions are good too. It's just that I personally rate those. Five star selector, I'll go with 25 mil. Again, I feel that that should go as low as the Nebula Arena recently went. And uh, six star Emma Frost going for 20 mil. To be honest, you may want to upgrade that one. You may want to push to it at least like 25 mil possibly and a 5 star version 12 mil. This is really tough because we've gone from this peak and then I think we'll have a slight drop down. We'll have to see what happens with the results on Sunday. In any case, that has been the show. Thank you very much for watching. And there may be a fresh-ish MCN Friday. I don't know because that, I think, is my boarding day uh, for the cruise. So we'll have to let you know what's going on with that. But thank you very much to those who support the channel as a YouTube member and as a patron. You're on screen right now. Also, those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. I thank you very much. And check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. Much love and goodbye, everybody. Cheers.